welcome to Scottish Adventures, I'm Cameron. Today I'm checking out Tolman Tombui. These two Munroes are located on the border of Angus and Aberdeenshire and this route starts from Glendall. From the car park you will be walking west through a forest along Jocks Road. After some incline you will reach Davies Burach. Now you need to cross a small stream and a boggy mess to reach our first Munro, Tombui. Next it's north to Tallmount before rejoining Jocks Road and coming back the way you came. Now it's east to reach some beautiful views of the glen before descending into a valley to reach a stunning waterfall, then returning through the glen back to the car park. The elevation is about 950 metres. For physical rating, this is roughly a 4 out of 5 due to the distance, the inclines and the boggy mess. The parking is 2 quid. Type into your navigation Glendall Car Park. To start the walk, pay for parking here, check out this information board, say hey to the great folks in the visitor centre, then follow this path to the forest walks. The path we are looking for is called Jocks Road. The full route to Bremar is 15 miles long. Soon you will enter a clearing. This path leads to Corrie Fee, Meyer and Dresch, and this path to the right takes us onto Jocks Road. You will now enjoy a peaceful forest walk. After roughly 50 minutes you will exit the Glendall Forest. Things now start to get pretty steep. If you packed your teleportation device then just go here. Soon you will reach Davies Burak. This is an emergency shelter that was built in 1966 by the famous hillman Davy Glenn. Unfortunately, this marks the spot where five hillwalkers died in 1959 due to adverse weather conditions. The hills can be very dangerous as the weather can change in a matter of seconds. Always bring two maps, a compass, a friend, cold weather gear and always tell someone your route. Here's what it looks like inside. In the distance you can see our first Munro, Tom Bowie. The slopes next to Davies Borach are also awesome for coat sledging. <laughs> Follow the path a bit further till you reach our crossover point. We will be walking east but first we need to bag these two Munros. Things get pretty muddy now as you have to cross the boggy mess and a wee stream. After roughly two and a half hours, you will reach the first Munro, Tom Bowie. To the north, you can see Tallmount. This should take roughly 30 minutes to reach from here. To the north, you can see most of the Munros that make up the incredible White Mouth Circuit, the most famous of these being Loch Nagar. To the east, you can see Broadcairn and Mount Keen in the distance. To the south is Dresch, Meyer, and Tom Bowie. To the west is Glass Mau and Cairn Aklasha. We now need to head directly east to rejoin Jocks Road. Try to find the path and then head south to our crossover point. You should be able to see Loch Esk. Keep Loch Esk on your left and the higher hill on your right. Soon you will be rewarded with beautiful views of the glen. Follow the path down into the trees. You will soon reach this bridge which has beautiful views of the top waterfall. The waterfalls below are even more impressive. Cross the bridge to reach these views. To reach the bottom, rejoin the original path till you reach here. You now have to climb through these trees and down this steep bitty. Take time to chill out and enjoy or get in for a wee dip. 
Rejoin the path and soon you will leave the forest to some incredible views of the Glen. There is a stunning river all the way down. Stick to the path and cross this bridge. Now here's where I made a mistake. After this bridge there is a yellow marker that leads through the trees. Go that way, not this way. I need to be over there but now have a river in my way. So here's a top tip that's yours for free. Then he goes swimming to an expensive camera. You will now arrive back at the car park. Cheers for watching, where's next? If you do this walk because of this video, please share your photos in the comments. Share this video with anyone who would enjoy it. Get up, get it, and get exploded. Cheers!